Okay, so we've got a level with our character. They can move around, jump, a bit of a sprint. Uh, we've got no way of dying. So, but what we probably want to do is somehow, if we fall out of bounds of the game, such as here, if we start falling, we probably want to hit something which is going to trigger a respawn or a death. So, what we're going to do is in our environment, we're going to add an area 3D node. Let's just call it Death Pit. And I'm going to add a collision shape to this. And I'm just going to set that. Mm, we could use a few different things. Let's just do a box for here. And I'm just going to stretch that out to be, say, 200 by 200. So it's a nice big area that when I collide, I'm going to respawn. To make things just a little bit easier to see, I'm also going to add a 3D mesh instance. That is just going to be a plane. And let's just make that 200 by 200 as well. And I'm just going to add a basic texture to it just so that we can actually quite easily see what's actually going on. Let's make it a bit of red. And we might actually make that nice and metallic. So we've got that. Now I'm just going to take my death area. So this principle can be applied for anything. So you can sort of see it's a bit below at the moment. Let's run this. We can see that area. And so we can now quite clearly tell we're going through it. But we haven't got any code on this at this point. So let's just go and attach a script. I'm just going to call it death pit to the area 3D. And what we're then going to do is with our node signal What I'm then going to do is basically go and have a body entered and I'm going to connect this to the death pit. So on body entered, I want something to happen. Let's just check it actually triggers. So I'll just have a something got here message. And cool. We can tell we got there, something hit. Now what we want to do is go and add the signal on this. Rather than that, we're going to deal with it as a group. So I'm going to actually go into my play, my players section. So I'm on my player node here. I'm just going to select the player and I'm going to create a group called player. And then we've got to go up to manage groups and we can sort of see this node is it is in this group. So we can actually access this from anywhere. So let's go back to our, our signal. So this is a group. It means we can actually go and look up stuff. So jump in here, back onto our death pit. Now, if body dot is in group. If it is in the player group, we're going to do something. So we're just going to print out player fell to their death. Let's test this. And we can see that this triggered here. Now what we actually would probably rather do is reload the scene. So get tree dot change scene to file and we're going to load up just that level again. So let's actually run the whole game together. So we're in our play mode. In here we fall down and we switch to that scene. Now what's quite cool about this is we could actually go tell it to go to whatever scene we wanted to. So it's going to do that now. So we've got it currently loading here. So what we're going to do is going to take that. Rather than go to that scene, we're going to load up the main menu scene. 
So we'll actually just run it right from the start. So we're going to hit play. We jump through. And we've gone through. And it's loaded up the other scene. But our mouse isn't here. So what we might also need is switch back to our main menu. Go into that scene. Edit that one script. So on ready when it loads. Input that mouse mode. Mouse mode visible. Let's try this again. So we've got a visible mouse. We're in. We've jumped forward and off the edge. And the mouse becomes visible. We hit play. We spin back. So there's basically how to use have a respawn. So we can actually have that code trigger quite a few different things. So it's the same idea on our death bit. When the body enters, get it to do something. So we could tell it to give us some, you could modify this and give us points. Take damage. It's the same principle. So it's a really useful tool. Being able to send and use groups to detect collisions between different objects and identify them.